soldering EC5 connectors to LiPo batteries. Well, to start off, make sure you cut one of the terminals, leaving the other terminal attached to its original plug. You don't want to uh, let there be any chance of a short occurring. Make sure you apply heat to the wire, and then you melt your solder onto the heated wire. Carry out the same procedure on the pin as well, and that's all there really is to soldering EC5 connectors. Um, I've done another clip that's much that's about eight minutes long on soldering EC5 connectors onto my Xeron uh, ESC. Um, I'll be placing a link to that shortly, and I go into far more detail on how to solder EC5 connectors. Now this battery pack is a 90 C discharge uh, capable, so that means with fi it's a 5,000 mAh, so that's 450 amps if you short it out. So be careful. Um, always make sure that you're working on one lead at a time um, and that way you won't have any chance of shorting them out. Uh, when you're inserting the pins, uh, the second, well, you're inserting the negative pin, which I'll be doing in a second, here we go. Make sure that you use the flathead screwdriver on the outer edge um, because you don't want your screwdriver to act as a shorting device. Um, please keep watching. After the credits, um, I'll be soldering up a second battery um, and that's uh, that will be running at a quicker speed. Um, please like, comment, and um, share this clip. I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. I'm a